I see you. You must be pretty desperate. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. So you didn't just click on a trash thumbnail just because you want to be a better dribbler, a top dribbler, or a dribble god. But hey, nobody's judging you. I want you to remember, I'm here to help. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a move that creates no space, doesn't get you open, and just waste your stamina. But I want you to remember, I'm here to help. And since you're still here, I'm gonna waste like 10 seconds of your time by saying my obnoxious intro. Yes, man, it really is me. Me Zool, AKA the instant burner, man. And if you want me to waste more of your time, make sure to stay tuned. One back, one back, two back, two. I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Nah, nah, but for real though, guys, man, y'all go ahead and show show love to the page by smashing that like button. If you don't smash that like button for me, smash it for Shawty right here. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to show love. All right, appreciate that love, Burner Gang. The very first thing you guys are gonna wanna do, you wanna go to your controller settings and you wanna go to your pro stick orientation. And you wanna make sure that this is on absolute. What absolute pretty much means is your dribble moves are pretty much the same anywhere on the court. When you have this on camera relative, you doing a dribble move at the top of the court, pressing certain buttons and you pressing those same buttons on the right side of the court, you do totally Two totally different dribble moves, you know what I'm saying? Most of your dribble guys out here, they put this on absolute. So go ahead and put this on absolute. The next thing you guys are gonna wanna do, you wanna make sure you got a good moving spin. I mean, it's not a specific one that you have to have. If you want the one that I have, I have on Pro 4. But you just wanna make sure that you have a fast one. Once you do that, this move is simple. It's not hard to do. What you wanna do first, you wanna do a momentum. If you don't know, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do a momentum. If you do not know how to do a momentum, it is on my page. I posted the video a couple of days ago. I can go check that out. But once you do the momentum, what you want to do, you want to flick your stick like you see it on the screen. This is if the ball is in your right hand. If the ball is in your left hand, you want to do all this vice versa. But if the ball is in your right hand, you want to flick that stick or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Counterclockwise. You want to click it counterclockwise. Then once you get this animation right here, what you're going to want to do, you want to let go of everything and flick back on the stick. And that, and that will put the ball back behind your back so you can go into your combos or whatever you want to do but that it's that simple guys it's pretty easy once you get in your, your my court and practice but if this video ends up helping y'all in any way don't forget to smash that like if you're not subscribed bro what's up man you got something against me is that why you're not subscribed or 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 you just don't know about me you know what i'm saying because you're missing out if you don't know about mr mizzle and y'all already know who this is it is your boy me is old.